Okay, got parallel lines A, B, and C, D. So this angle and this angle are the same because they're alternate angles. So alternate angles are equal. And then this one here and this one here, I'll do it in two lines this time. Those ones, again, they're alternate angles. And alternate angles are equal. You need to put down the or equal are equal as well. And then pink, I did three. This one, three there. That one is vertically opposite. And so they're equal. So now what we've done, we've shown oh vertically opposite. They're all equal, but that's not enough to show that it's congruent. Because for congruent, they have to be the same, uh, have all the angles the same, and all the lengths have got to be the same. I just need one more thing, and this length here is the same as that one, because M, or as it says there, M is midpoint of AD, and so it's like that. Those two are the same, and therefore the angles in each triangle are the same, and yet they're, they're also the same length, because as soon as one of them is the same, and the angles being the same, that means that they have, all the sides have to be the same. So that proves that they're congruent, and pretty more words, but that will do me. That's 13 done.